So when you leave here, you'll know that you're an Israelite and you got to keep God's commandment to right. get the kingdom of heaven. Right. Now go back to that scripture. I, uh, I had you. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. Uh -huh. you know. And I will give you pastors uh -huh. according to mine heart. God said he going to send us, even though we got these false pastors in Christianity church that's not teaching you the laws of God, that's not teaching you how to get out of oppression. Right. God said he going to send you pastors according to his heart, his mind, meaning according to this law, the laws of his Bible, right. the understanding of his Bible. Read that again. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. This is God promised to you, sis. Read. Which shall feed you. Shall do what? Feed you. That's what we're doing right now. We're feeding you, sis. Right. Spiritual food that you need, right? right. Because our spirit is broken. Right. God calls us poor in spirit. Right. We're not just poor in the ghettos. God said we are poor in spirit. But God said, bless those that are poor in spirit. Why? Because you hear the how, the how you are really rich in spirit according to this Bible, right? Read. right. Get out. Which shall feed you uh -huh. with knowledge. What is that knowledge, sis? What did we read that knowledge was earlier? Because God said that he that he's gonna his path, he's gonna send pastors to feed you with knowledge. What was that knowledge early, earlier? We said that we were destroyed from lack of. Do you remember? Learning. Learning and what else? What are we doing? Why are we in these conditions, sis? What do we do? We broke the We broke what? We broke the code. Exactly. That's that knowledge. Read it again. He so God said he's gonna send you pastors to feed you with that knowledge, which is what? The commandments of God, sis. Right. That's what you're learning today. Who you are and the commandments of God. Cause that's the whole reason behind everything, sis. The children of Israel not keeping God's commandments. That's the reason the world is like how it is right now. It's flipped upside down. Why? Because we are out of order as a people. So we gotta return as a nation of people back to who we really are and keeping God's commandments, sis. Right. So he gonna say, he said in the last days, amongst being in captivity, he was gonna send you pastors to feed you the laws of God. Read. And I will give you pastors uh -huh. according to mine heart, uh -huh. which shall feed you with knowledge uh -huh. and understanding. Give me uh, uh, Acts 319. So now that you know this, who you are, sis, and we're telling you that you got to keep the commandments, sis. We're going to show you what that is, sis, and what that entails. I'm going to show you that you got to repent. As, as this, is, this is so imperial for you because this is what's going to get you to understand how to get out of the conditions we're in, sis. Right. So this is the most important information you have ever heard in your life. This goes above having a nine to five, worrying about, uh, worrying about uh, if I can pay my rent. Right. Worrying about if that no good Negro gonna come back to me tomorrow. Right. This is bigger than that, sis. Why? Because you're gonna learn your self-worth and who you are. That's Once you learn your self-worth and who you are, you will walk differently, sis. Right. You will look at life in a whole different fashion, sis. I guarantee you. And you will gather around like-minded like individuals that will right. guide you in the right direction, sis. Right. And you, we will not let you get hurt like the world hurts you uh, every day. Right. God don't disappoint you, sis. Right. He, will, he won't leave you or forbid you or anything. But we got to understand, we made a covenant with him. We made a, so he set a stipulation for us. We have to keep his commandments to get what he promised to us, sis. That's, that's right. All right? Read that. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Read repent uh -huh. ye therefore and be converted. God said we have to repent, meaning what? What you think repent is, sis? Have you ever heard the word repent? What what, you, what what repent means? You're asking for forgiveness for your sins. That's true. That's part of it. That's part of it. So he said we got to repent and do what? And be converted. So not only do you ask for forgiveness of your sins, because that's good. You're acknowledging that you're a sinner. That is very true. But then he said you got to do what again? And be converted. God said you got to be converted. You got to convert back to him. Right. right? What do you think? What do you think uh, converts you, sis? We've been talking about it. Yeah. We've been talking about it. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the part of everything, sis. What, what do you think converts you? Think about it. What changes you as a person? Knowledge. That's, and what is knowledge? According to the Bible. What did we say knowledge was? You got it, sis. It's, I see it. It's, it's on your spirit. Go ahead and say it. You got it? What is that knowledge, sis? Learning. Okay, what else? What else? Like, why are we in these conditions we're in? Because we broke his commandments. There you go. So that's the knowledge, the laws of God. Right. So that's what converts you to being a virtuous woman. Right. That's what con uh, converts a whore into a righteous man. That will convert, the laws of God converts a thief not to be a thief. Right. right. You understand what I'm saying? The laws is what's going to converts us. We have to change our minds according to God. Read. <laughs> this is the book of Psalms. 
chapter 19 and verse 7. Read Read out. Out. Listen up, sis. The law of the Lord is perfect. The what? The law of the Lord is perfect. The what? The law of the Lord is perfect. So you heard that, sis? Don't worry about that, sis. God said his laws are perfect. Right. You can't find no fault in his laws. Now, sis, I'm going to show you a law. Now, go to Deuteronomy 22 uh, 5. You heard the Bible said the laws of God is what? What is the law? Read it again for the sister. The law of the Lord is perfect. You got to understand, sis. You remember that scripture we read? Yes, sir. Sis, now you, you got to understand. That's, that scripture I had told you about, um, the law of the Lord is perfect, right? So read Deuteronomy 22 and 5. You got to understand that scripture I told you about, you being here for a reason. Why? Because God said as a people, we have to be, we got to be perfect for his son, right? right? So this is what makes you perfect, the laws of the Lord. I'm going to give you a law to help you become perfect, That's sis. Right. Don't you want to, do you want to be perfect uh, before the eyes of the Lord? So you want to, you want to, you want, uh, you want a guy to look at you and say, okay, that's my sister, uh, my daughter. What you say your name was again, sis? Aquila. Aquila. She is perfect. She heard the prophets. They gave her the law. She changed. She repented. And God said, that's that's my sister. She she's perfect. So when that last day comes, sis, when before when he's which when he sent his son down. You won't get the judgment the other nations and the sinners of his people right. would get, sis. Right. So this is what we're trying to warn you from, sis. The destruction that's going to come. Because it's a destruction that's going to come to this world, sis. Right. That's promised in the Bible. Just like God said he promised the Israelites, his people, that that would happen to them, sis, for breaking the God's commandments. Did that happen, sis? Did, aren't we cursing the field? We right. know that. That happened, sis. So just like that curse happened, God said he's going to curse this earth. He's going to destroy it when he sent his son down. That's right. We're trying to warn you from that destruction, sis. That's going to come to pass, sis. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Now, this, yeah. this is the law, sis. I want you to listen up. Come right here, sis. I want you to listen up. This is very, very important. Before you go, I need you to understand this, sis. I need you to understand this. This is a law, and we know the law. The laws is what? Knowledge, right? And God said his people are destroyed from the lack of what? So we're giving you the knowledge so you won't be destroyed as a, as a people. So you won't right. make this thing, right? We're trying to restore the decayed state of our people by giving them the commandments of God, sis. All right? This is a commandment. Listen up, sis. Read. The woman. The what? The woman. Read. Shall not wear that which pertain it unto a man. Keep going. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Sis, what did, what did God say the man shouldn't do? So, sis, that, so if I got a dress on out here saying, hey, sis, you you are Israelite, you got to keep God's commandments. Would you take me seriously? Of course not. Now read it from the top again. Verse 5. Listen up, sis. The woman. The, so, the woman. So he's talking about the woman, sis. You a woman, right, sis? So he's, he's talking directly to you. Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Sis, what do you think you got on that pertains or belongs to a man? Pants, sis, you got it on the right. head. Right, so right now, sis, how do you repent from that? What do I what don't I supposed to have on? A dress. So you got on pants, I got I got on if I have a dress on, that's what you will have to wear, right? right. So what you have to do to repent from this law that you're breaking, sis? Change. By doing what? Burning them pants and putting a dress on. Right. right. It's, it's just that easy, sis. That's all you got to do. You know? All you got to do, read God's word, read his laws, and do what the Bible says do, That's sis. That's right. It's not that hard. But it's hard to us because the other nations teach us how to sin against our God. Right. That's why we, they want to keep us in the conditions we're in today. Right. By Please. sinning against our God. Why? Because they know that what? We destroy for the lack of knowledge. Right. right. But our people don't know that. But God said he got mercy on you, so he's going to send you the truth according to his word. To feed you knowledge, sis. Why? To make you what? To make you what? What the laws of God do? Make you perfect. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.
Hands go! 